most business owners I talk to, and myself included as a solo business owner, struggle with this very thing. And it's not what you think, it is this. <sighs> Hi there, I'm Valerie Hall Little, founder of Built to Soar, where I help you get out of the grind so your business can take flight. I've been talking with a lot of solo business owners the past week. Uh, we're getting ready for our mastermind group. And in those conversations, they have revealed the number one thing that they experience that is holding their business back and that they struggle with feeling alone, feeling isolated in your business, feeling unsupported. And when these things happen in your business, it's easy to feel defeated, deflated, like you want to give up, like we'll go get a job somewhere where you're surrounded by more people, but you know that's not what you want. And you know that you've poured your heart and soul into your business and that this struggle can be overcome. The one thing to remember is you are not alone. We all go through this period of time when we feel uh, like we're the only ones in our business. And we are <laughs> the only ones in our business because we are solo business owners and we might have subcontractors and remote team helping us. But how do we get out of this? How do we break free? Well, I'm going to share with you three things that you can do to help you feel not so unsupported and alone in your business. Number one is get outside. Enjoy the outdoors, um, outside of your office. Get away from the computer screen and go into places that make you feel part of something bigger. So it could be just going out and working outside on your balcony or in your backyard, even in a park uh, or a coffee shop. Just get outside of your office and get out from behind the computer screen. So that's number one. The number two way that you can feel more supported is to join some sort of networking group. So it could be um, uh, a formal networking group that meets every week. Uh, it could be one that meets every month. It could be a mastermind group with other like-minded business owners. Whatever that is and whatever feels right to you, join the networking group and not with the idea that you want to get more clients, although that is always wonderful, but it's also to feel supported and surrounded by like-minded business owners. So that's number two, join a business networking group of some sort. And number three is go online. There are networking groups and groups of like-minded people online. I would love to have you in the Business Efficiency Zone, which is my private Facebook group for solo business owners who are looking for support in running their business. So please go on Facebook, Google me, the Business Efficiency Zone. I'll put a link underneath for you. And we would love to have you there. I would love to have you there. Uh, but there are a number of other um, social media groups out there uh, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, all sorts of places that will, are there to support you. So that is my challenge for you this week. As we are, you know, leaving summer and winter is descending upon us, we don't want to feel isolated and shut in. I know, I know, I know if you do these three things, you are going to feel less alone in your business. You are going to leap over this challenge uh, of running your own business and you are going to feel surrounded and supported. That is your next step to designing your business so it's built to soar. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Still lonely, I have nobody.